Hi, this is Pastor Rick at Living Hope Baptist Church here in Hammett. Glad you came back to join me. I promised you the last time that I would uh, talk about a solution to these problems that the world and our nation are facing. The, the, the simple answer is faith in Jesus Christ and obedience to the Word of God. That would be a simple and a profound and actually the only solution that's going to work. However, uh, we need to explain it maybe a little more. One of the things that needs to happen is the kings need to show some discernment. They need to recognize, our leaders need to recognize, as all of us individuals do, that there is really a God, that he does know better than we do. He does actually have a plan for mankind, and if we would listen to him and follow him, he will listen to us when we cry out for help, and he'll help us. However, if we choose not to listen to him, he has a warning to the leaders of the world. And that is, he says, take warning, O judges of the earth. He says, worship the Lord with reverence and rejoice with trembling. He said, do homage to the Son. In other words, give honor and respect to Jesus Christ, that he not become angry and you perish in the way. For his wrath may soon be kindled, how blessed are all who take refuge in him. Do you see what God does? He lays out a promise and hope and encouragement. And at the other hand, he also lays out a warning. So the choices we make have consequences. They can be good. That's if you put faith in God and actually trust that he actually knows a little more than we do. <clears throat> or you can do it your own way and find out what happens. And that's not good. By the way, God has every reason to be angry with sin because sin is the reason his own son, Jesus Christ, suffered and died on a cross. He ought to be angry with sin when people turn away from him. By the way, God is holy. There is no sin in him and no darkness in him. He has no secret agenda. God is absolutely always just. He's always right, and he always cares about you and me. When you obey God, he rewards you, even when you weren't thinking about it. And by the way, the real king on the hill is not in the White House or some other nation. The real king on the hill is not going to be seen on television tonight or found in the Propane Hall of Fame. <laughs> the real king who sat on the hill is Jesus Christ. He's the one who humbled himself, and then the Father exalts him today. So, unlike all of the politicians that represent or want to be over us, Jesus humbled himself. That's why I know you can trust him, because he humbled himself, because he cares about you, and he wants you to know him. Have you ever put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ? You can do it right now. You can just admit to God what he already knows, that you and I are sinners, that Jesus Christ, the Son of God, took the punishment for your sin and mine on the cross. He died. He was buried. He rose again. He's actually alive today, sitting in a throne next to the, at the right hand of God the Father in heaven. And uh, if you ask him to forgive you and put your faith in him and commit yourself to obey him, He'll forgive you, accept you, be with you for the rest of your life, guide you every day to do the right thing, and he can bless you above and beyond anything that any politician can ever or will ever deliver. I promise it's the truth. God bless you.